27. Identify the hybridization of the central atom in each of the following molecules and ions that contain multiple bonds. And then we have ClOF2 positive, and they do give us a little hint that the chlorine, the Cl, is going to be the central atom. So in essence, we're just trying to find the hybridization of chlorine. Okay, now the easiest way to find a hybridization is to actually draw the Lewis structure. Even though it's one extra step, I promise you that once you have that Lewis structure, hybridization is so easy to do. Now there's a whole playlist on the channel just designated to actually drawing the Lewis structure as we go through it step by step. So if you're a beginner, which is absolutely fine, and you need more guidance, you can always go back to those uh, questions. And the steps are literally on the screen and everything's laid out for you there. This one will kind of be like a quick inversion um, because the new idea here is hybridization. So let's draw the Lewis structure. So they say that chlorine's in the middle. So Cl and Cl. Cl and Cl, I have only one Cl. So Cl is in the middle. All the other elements that they state have to be around the chlorine. So I got one oxygen and two fluorines. They're going to be around the uh, chlorine. So maybe I'll put the oxygen up top and the fluorines down below. It does not matter where you put them, just as long as they're surrounding the chlorine. Now let's put the valence electrons. So this goes by your periodic table. Fluorine on the periodic table is in group 7A or 17. So we're going to put seven valence electrons. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fluorine as well here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the same thing with the chlorine, right? Chlorine is also a halogen. It's in the same group as fluorine, 17 or 7A. So this is also has seven valence electrons. So maybe I'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And the oxygen is in the next group to the left. It's in 6A or 16. So that's six valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, since this is an ion, right? An ion is a charged atom or molecule, right? It's got a charge. We have to, you know, work with the charge before we make any bonds. So what does this plus mean? Well, the plus means that you lost electrons. And how many electrons did you lose? Well, it's literally a plus one. If you don't see a number, it's always a one. So you lost one electron. So I have to get rid of one dot, but I got three different elements, fluorine, chlorine, oxygen. Who do I get it rid of from? Well, you always lose the one electron from the least electronegative element. Now there are exceptions, right? You'll never get rid of hydrogen's electron because hydrogen only has one electron. But in general terms, you always look for the least electronegative, and that generally is the one in the middle. That's why that's the central atom. It's the least electronegative out of the bunch. And chlorine is the least electronegative from fluorine and oxygen. So I'm just going to maybe take this lonely one and boop, throw it off to the side. Goodbye. Get out of here. Whoop, whoop. He doesn't want to leave. That's okay. We'll just boop, delete, delete him out of our lives. No? Can we really not get rid of this guy? Well, now I'm just going to erase him. Goodbye. Anyway, now let's bond dot to dot. So dot to dot always makes a single bond. Dot to dot, dot to dot, and dot to dot. We're going to check the outer elements for the octet rule. So the fluorine, two, four, six, eight. So that's all good. This fluorine has two, four, six, eight. So that's good. And now the oxygen has two, four, six, seven. Ah. So we need a, another bond to get that eight, right? Two, four, six, eight. Now the oxygen has the octet and the chlorine is going to be good as well. That's why you always check your outer elements because once those are all cleared, the inner guy should work out. But if we notice chlorine has two, four, six, eight, ten electrons. But chlorine is one of those elements that, if it's the center, can have an expanded octet, meaning it can have more than eight electrons. And in this case, it's got two, four, six, eight, ten. 
So we're good here. Now, since we have the Lewis structure, we can now find the hybridization. And the hybridization is just talking about the orbitals that are going to overlap to form your sigma bonds in the bonds that are surrounding the atom, in this case, chlorine. And the hybridization is just linked to how many letters are in the hybridization. So for example, sp3 has one s and three p's. That's a total of four letters. If I strip away a p, we're now in sp2, that's got a total of three letters. And if I strip one more p away, that's sp, that's a total of two letters. And the number of letters corresponds to the number of things around the atom. So two letters, two things, three letters, three things. You just need to know what one thing is, which are these four things. <laughs> so one single bond is classified as one thing. A double bond, even though you see two lines, it's still grouped together as one thing, or a triple bond is one thing, and a lone pair. So now we just have to focus on what's going on with the chlorine. Well, it's got a single bond, that's one thing. It's got another single bond, that's two things. I see a double bond, I'm gonna group that together as one thing, and it's got a lone pair. So, this chlorine has four things around it. I don't classify any of these lone electrons because it's not to the chlorine. So chlorine, four things, four letters. Do you know what it is? Four things, four letters, you guys got it, sp3. Whoop whoop, box that answer off and we are done. That's the hybridization of the center atom, aka chlorine, okay. What'd you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And we're almost at 30,000 subscribers, which is absolutely incredible. And it's all because of you guys. So if you wouldn't mind just pressing that button, just gets the word out there in the YouTube universe that this cool channel exists. I think it's pretty cool. My brother and I, we really do appreciate all your support that you guys have been giving us. And it really ke keeps us going, gives us the motivation and the drive to keep going, to keep producing for you guys and to help you in your classes. So thank you so much for your support. Let's just always keep learning and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.